Hi guys, how are we doing? This video is all about rat trap bond, as you can see before you. It's a video that I decided to film because a fair few of you have asked for it in the comment section of the previous video about quatter bond. So, without further ado, let's talk rat trap bond. Right, okay guys, rat trap bond. The bond that you asked me to do a video about, so here we go. Now, this is Again, very similar to quatter bonds. If you haven't seen that video, then there'll be a link in the description. Quatter bond is a variation of Flemish bond, and much the same as that, rat trap bond, or what also is, has, it has been known as um, Chinese brick bond. Uh, that is also a variation in Flemish bond as well. So, what I'm about to do is you are probably going to think, my good God, he's putting that brick in the wrong way round, but no. This is an interesting bond in that it is laid face down. Yeah, so that is laid face down like so. Now the thing with this bond is, which I might run into a little issue here, the bricks have to be of an even size, as in uh, complete minimal variation, as minimal variation as possible, purely because you are using the face side as the bed side, I suppose. It's the best way of explaining it to you. And no, I'm not doing a brick on edge here. This is how you do the first, the first course. Now, I don't like laying rat trap bond. I have done it probably twice in my life, both of those times at college. I don't like the way they the way the way you lay purely because there's a smaller surface area to actually bed the bricks and I find it's a lot more difficult to get it nice and straight. Well I wouldn't say a lot more difficult, it is more difficult. So much a similar way as Flemish bond, we have to put in, it's not quite a queen closer, but basically you put two, we're gonna call these headers and stretchers. You put two headers in first to make sure it bonds, and then you go along and you put what is, what, you know, like I said, what I'm gonna call a stretcher. And then essentially from there, you put one other brick on the other side. like so that'll go in there make sure that's level you get that in there like that and then we're going to put one across the front there's something just about this bond that just baffles me really for what reason would you want to show the side that you would generally put down on the muck. As in my point is the face side you're never going to see it. You're only ever going to see the underside. I, I really don't understand why people, I get why people would do it because it is, I'm going to go out on a limb here and I'm going to say it is more thermally efficient and than Flemish bond or any other nine inch bond and also you've got less chance of damp getting through. Still a nine inch wall, but you still have a partial cavity in it. It's the only place that you're going to bridge is on all what I'm going to call the headers that go through. So it's an interesting bond, but some of the benefits of it are it requires approximately 25% less bricks to use and 40% less mortar than traditional. When I say traditional, I'll call traditional. Um, like Flemish bond or English bond or generally any nine inch wall. Yeah, so 25% less uh, bricks and 40% less mortar. So that is a benefit. Now, in my opinion, now this is just my opinion, I don't think that this would be strong enough. And I say strong enough, stronger, but then again, time has tested and said that it is stronger because, like I said to you uh, last episode about quatta bond, an earthquake. Um, in Quata, basically rat trap bond with some of the only buildings left around or some of the only surviving buildings. 
So it just goes to show it is stronger, but I guess it's only stronger if you fill up the cavity with sort of concrete, because again, that is pretty much what it's designed for. Well, I wouldn't say it's designed for, but it is an application. You can either fill it up with concrete, you can not fill it up at all, or fill it up with insulation. Now, I'm obviously, cavity wall construction is a lot better than this. You just tie it together and off you go. It's, it's the way to do it, otherwise bonds like this will continue to be around. But, it's, it's a very interesting one. I've heard a lot of people in the comments saying that their houses are built out of rat trap bond. Now here's a brick that is solid on both sides. Now something like that, that would look nice that way around, but I'm not going to put it in, because that's going to go in the end. So that is what you would have as the first course. Now I'll do a couple down the opposite way just so you can see the corner and then I will uh, run through and do the top course. Just uh, I'll do the old Google Street View as I would do normally and uh, show you how it looks. So as you can probably tell I'm using different bricks than the bricks I would normally use and these are even better than the yellow ones I was using because these dry out this muck very quickly and very nicely so I can actually, I was saying that, it's not that dry. So I hopefully can point this up in the yellow rather than having to repoint it. So the one problem with this bond is that you have to have uniform sized bricks otherwise they're going to be lumping and bumping all over the place. So those yellows that I used before, all you regulars to the channel know, the yellows I used before, I've, they vary in size so drastically that they probably would not have been very good for this bond because like I said, you have to have nice uniform, uniform bricks so that the sizings work out right. Here we go, I'll just do two more bricks in here, then I'll, uh, I'll do one more course just to show you the bond, point it up, and uh, see how it looks from there on the old Google Street View. Well, I'm going to stand by the fact and say that Quata, the earthquake in Quata is enough evidence for me to say that this is a strong bond. It ain't no James Bond, but it's a strong bond. Okay. Yeah, I didn't have as much information about rat trap bonds as I did quite a bond because there wasn't really a great deal of information that I could find. But there we go. That is the bottom course. Now I will run through and do the top course and then come back to you after the time lapse and we will have a little chat about it. But first off, I'll just show you the top, I'll show you it top down so you can see what I'm, see what it's all about. Okay, there we go, top down, as you can see. Stretchers, uh, sorry, headers looking at it from this way. So two headers, stretcher, header, stretcher, header, stretcher, and then header, stretcher, header, stretcher, header, stretcher, going that way. So I'll quick Google Street View down here. That is it from that angle there. Right, now I'll uh, just quickly do the top course and then uh, come back and show you again. Right, okay guys, there we go. That is Rat Trap Bond, and there's the top course. It is alternating. As you can see from the bottom, it's a, it's a different sort of, uh, it's a different sort of bond if you ask me. Obviously you've got the two headers, well I'm gonna call headers, two headers, then it's a, a stretcher, header, stretcher, header, stretcher, like Flemish, and then it's literally just stretcher, header, stretcher, header, stretcher. So there's no need for cuts anywhere. You just put that extra, extra uh, header in there. It's, yeah, it's an interesting look. If you had bricks that didn't have the sort of discolored and if you had the base side that looked more like the face side, I'd say this looks a lot nicer. But I'm not saying it doesn't look nice. I think it's, it's, it's just a different way of looking at it, really. It's just a different bond. It's, it's quite nice, really. Coming from someone who, I like Flemish bonds, so Rat Trap bond, it's, uh, it's sort of along the same sort of, sort of pattern so it's quite nice but 
I'd still prefer just seeing the face side. They're a little bit more awkward to lay this way, they're more likely to wobble, I find. So it's not the nicest thing to lay, but it is a very interesting way of getting a cavity in a nine inch wall. So there we go, rat trap bond. Oh, well, there we go, guys. You did ask for it back in the Quetta Bond video, so hopefully you've enjoyed it. A little insight into Rat Trap Bond, or what is also known as, uh, what was it? Chinese Brick Bond. Yeah, very interesting. If you've enjoyed this video, please do leave a like down below. Subscribe if you aren't already. Ring that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And remember, bricks laid, wages paid. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So take care. See you later. Ta-ra.